We're just about to start day three of improv class um, after a night of, of drinking because it was Halloween yesterday. So I'm definitely not on the top of my game. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, it makes me a little bit more, more nervous, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of talking like I still am a bit drunk, <laughs> but I'm not. I, I swear I'm not. I still get stuck with this fear of failure and judgment and, and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm concerned that the class is going to get angry at me or the class is going to, you know, make fun of me um, and me feel bad. Uh, the thing is, is that I need to differentiate them from, you know, past bad situations you know, with people who actually did that, because the people back then and the people back, or the people now are not the same. You know, these people um, are like me, and they're coming to the group, at least a lot of them are coming to the group, you know, to help with their anxiety, like me. You know, um, so we're in the same boat. And a lot of them are, like, really friendly and considerate, which is a lot different from the people from my past, too. So, I just have to keep reminding myself that these people aren't as likely to do that, and they haven't done that yet. Um, another thing, you know, I'm concerned about screwing up, and I'm concerned about getting stuck, and I'm concerned about not being able to, uh, you know, act out certain things. Like, might be like, oh, do uh, an Irish accent or a German accent or whatever. And I'm concerned I wouldn't be able to do that. So, I'm going to give myself permission today to just, you know, be anxious when I'm anxious. And not do the best that I've ever done, ever. You know, I'll try and do my best that I can today. Um, you know, I'll give myself permission to pause, I'll give myself permission to screw up, whatever that means in improv, I guess that's only, you know, my own way of thinking it, uh, about it, because I'm the only person who's putting these expectations and limits on myself. Um, I'm just gonna give myself permission to, to not do, you know, 1,000%, <laughs> not be perfect. So I'm gonna go to class, and I'm gonna do the best I can at being me, and the best I can at fulfilling, you know, uh, the roles that uh, I'm attempting, and playing the games. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do my best. And I already feel more relieved. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, here I go. See you later. Bye. Hey, so I just finished hanging out with uh, some of the guys from uh, our class. Uh, the improv class, or kind of chatting, and you know, you know, buddy, buddy, and uh, yeah. So a little bit late on video recording, but that's okay. So today we learned how to be supportive, you know, supporting our other classmates, and uh, we did so in uh, a few different games, which involved us. You know, pushing a little bit further beyond our uh, our limitations, which you know that's it's important. Um, it was definitely difficult, but in some ways, kind of a little bit easier, I guess. It was definitely more freeing. Uh, we got to sing and dance today, um, and, and some of the things that uh, we sang weren't actually songs, and we we made our own songs too. Um, and then we made songs out of sound effects, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was just, it was a really great day today. There was a couple of things from class that I wanted to talk about um, that I found uh, 
uh, really important. There was a lot of times where we were, when we were hesitating. You know, we all still, I think, are to a degree pre-planning what we're going to say before we jump in. Um, especially when we were singing. There was one part where we were singing um, songs about nuts, <laughs> which was really difficult to come up with stuff. I think we were all struggling a lot with that one. It was interesting because I'm still wanting to pre-plan stuff, but it's really hard to pre-plan a song about nuts. So I was like, you know what, screw it. And I just kind of got up there and I just did whatever came to my mind. Um, well, I did that a couple of times, and it does feel free not to pre-plan, you know? So, like, I, I can enjoy the other people's performances um, instead of, like, you know, taking all that time pre-planning, oh, what am I going to sing, what am I, you know? But uh, I got up there, and what I sang wasn't really, it wasn't really awesome, like, how I usually, like, my, uh, my performance type stuff to be, where I expect myself to do that, but it didn't matter. You know, my song about nuts went like this. Nut, 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 you know? <laughs> and it didn't matter. You know, nobody was making fun of me or whatever. And everybody else were, you know, they were having struggles with that too. But uh, that's not the point. The point was to just get up there and do it and you know be supportive and like tap somebody out you know when they're getting stuck when they want to get out of the, the circle you know so we help them out that's the supporting part i i feel like today i was letting loose a lot more there was uh, one game where i could have just talked but i decided just to make really ridiculous sounds um that was so much fun but it's just like i want to do this you know it even though it looks ridiculous, I want to do that. And actually, that's probably the point. To look ridiculous. And it feels good. It didn't make any sense at all. But it felt really good. And yeah, I mean, there's no wrong answers. There's no wrong answers in improv. Um, we did this one game where the whole class had to form different um, things. So there was one part where we, <laughs> we had to make a castle and me and another person, um, we made a moat, but we made it inside the castle. <laughs> and I just kind of went along with it because I was like, I don't know what to do. It was fun. You know, it's just like, who cares if there's, you know, two moats and there's one inside the castle? I've noticed today that even the teacher gets stuck. You know, he'll be talking and, you know, he'll lose his train of thought, which is, you know, that happened today. It's fine. Nobody cares. And, and so it shouldn't be any different for us either. You know, and it really isn't. It's just what's in our heads. Or at least, talking from my perspective, it's just what plays in my head. We also learned how to listen properly, too. Uh, we played this one game, which... Um, it kind of got a little confusing, because we were passing around... Um, you know, improv, when you pass around, you're not actually passing around any objects. It's just, you know, imaginary. So there were some things that, you know, sounded like other things, and it's like, so you had to really pay attention. And I think that's important, because in life there's so much miscommunication, because, you know, people aren't really listening to what other people are saying. And so I think it, it really is important to, you know, practice that, and really pay attention, because we can avoid so many arguments doing that, you know? And a lot of the arguments really are just miscommunication. At the end of each class, we tend to just, you know, talk about what we got from the class. And then the teacher tends to, you know, give his uh, input. And there were two really interesting things that he said that just kind of stood out for me. One of those things is, you know, sometimes we hold this image of who we are in the future, and we compare ourselves to that future person. And we actually start to feel like we're not enough. And so it's important for us to actually let that go, you know, and just be who we are right now. You know, we're good enough where we are right now. We just have to see that. You know, and I, I think that comparing, especially to our future or ultimate self, 
can be really detrimental. And also, when we go into um, one of these exercises, you know, we're not expected to do this whole thing by ourselves. And I think life is kind of like that too, you know? And the, what the teacher said was, you know, don't bring a cathedral into it. Bring a brick, you know? Put a small contribution into the general whole. And, you know, everybody else will help support you and help build that world. So I found that really interesting. So uh, I think that's it for now. I will see you next video. All right. Bye. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, uh, comment below, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And if you haven't already, please check out uh, day one and day two of improv class.